Hey everybody, it's me, Jermaine West. I'm right back with you. It's been a while since I made a video. My last video uh, that I came to you with, it's been maybe about a month or so ago, and I came to you telling you that I was going to begin to open up dialogue on this channel about truth, about the truth as we know it as far as individual people, but more so importantly, the truth as the Word of God, the Bible, tells us. And the one thing I want to speak about today is our misunderstanding or maybe possibly the misperception of Christmas. Uh, it is now December the 12th, and um, if you celebrate Christmas, I want to make it a point that I am no longer celebrating Christmas due to the fact of uh, many of things that I'm going to share with you uh, today on this video. But more, most importantly, um, I'm looking forward to, to working myself into um, a celebration of the true holy days of God and not the holidays as we as especially here in America have become accustomed with and the, and I'm going to point out today uh, talking a little bit about Christmas I want to pose a few questions uh, to those my listeners out there and to you as a YouTube community I want to pose a few questions to you question number one where in the Bible does it expressly tell us that the month of December should be celebrated as the birth of Jesus Christ? Now, I know there are scriptures that, that share with us that the announcement of uh, the birth of Christ, uh, it tells us uh, that uh, he was uh, born uh, to a virgin mother. Uh, as well as he was born in Bethlehem. But it does not give a specific date and time, scripture that is. But then there will be proponents out there that will say, well, it really doesn't matter the time of the year or the date, but what matters is the fact that we are celebrating the birth of our Savior, the King, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, well, I'd have to tend to agree with that and say that that might be okay. But where did the practice of incorporating Jesus and his birth and this mysterious Santa Claus and the practice of giving gifts? Well, many will say that when Jesus was born, um, that three wise men, and I have to state that the scripture never anywhere states that there were three wise men that came to him, but they came, the wise men came bearing gifts. Well, in that time, in the time of a monarchy, in a time of a monarchy, it is customary that when a king is born, that it is customary that you bring a gift to the king. But there is nowhere in scripture that leads us to uh, form the tradition that we are to bring gifts uh, and share gifts on Jesus' birth, uh, uh, on the celebration of Jesus' birth. Now, I think it's it's important to note and to uh, point out, excuse me, to point out that we can celebrate Jesus' birth, recognize. Let me rephrase that: not celebrate, but recognize the birth of Jesus. And the fact that our King and Savior was brought and uh, had come into this world as we know it. But there, there are many, many pagan based practices when, it, when we talk about the actual celebration of Christmas as we know it here in America. Well, I want, I want you to uh, do your due diligence as I have. I, I, I want you to take a look at certain places uh, in scripture and in history and pull out the truth. And maybe, just maybe, you'll look at Christmas in a different way. So I'll pose the question, what does Christmas have to truly do with Jesus and the birth of our Savior? I think it's more important that we start lending ourselves to, to the, the celebration and the reverence of God's holy days opposed to the holidays that man has conditioned us to believe in and to practice. That's the truth, and that's the simple truth, but sometimes the simple things can be the most profound.